Hello, everyone. Um, <clears throat> so we have up to this point, uh, we've done a background information <clears throat> with questions. Uh, we have analyzed our four documents, and now we are moving into the actual assessment uh, for the progressive movement. Uh, so as you see here, uh, we are going to be looking at a guided essay. So <clears throat> when you pull this up, you're going to see that, again, the, the question is, where will you put your million dollars? So <clears throat> this has been separated into a five paragraph. And for Coach Mason and for Miss Housley, it's been separated into a three paragraph um, essay. So we're going to look at this and see how we are going to uh, be filling in this information. And <clears throat> it's cr critically important that you do understand that what you're doing here um, is how you are going to be expected to complete an essay. <clears throat> uh, this is great practice, and this is uh, something that, that you should take to heart um, and do your very best on, because again, this is your assessment. This is 100 points uh, towards the course. Uh, most of the time, your assessments will be worth 100 points, and uh, this one will be no different. So as you look at this, again, five paragraphs or three paragraphs, depending on um, the assignment that you get, but you're going to fill in the spaces with your own words. Um, after, uh, you will have what you need for the essay, and you're going to type that essay and turn it in. So paragraph one is an introduction. You need to have a hook. So... Um, within this, your dear aunt, your dear aunt that has passed and has given you money, um, you're looking at hooking uh, the audience into uh, what you're going to be writing about. So what is the issue at hand? Um, what has happened? And um, the fact that you want to make your aunt proud um, as you go about uh, contributing money to these different causes. So once you have your hook, <clears throat> uh, there's a stem here for you. So in the early 1900s, and you need to talk a little bit about um, some of the issues or some of the problems um, that are uh, in the United States. So you can I I include the four issues uh, that were in your document. So talking about the problem of uh, trying to conserve nature, uh, the meatpacking industry. Um, you could also uh, include the women's suffrage movement. Um, and child labor and all these things we've talked about um, extensively and looked at uh, with different assignments and uh, things in class. So here you're just going to have a little discussion about that. And then to end this, you are going to pick three out of the four issues that you want to specifically give money to. So your thesis and roadmap is looking at if I had a million dollars, I would give it away to help these three problems, blank, blank and blank. And that's just laid out there for you. And all you got to do is pick uh, three out of those four issues. And then the next three paragraphs are concentrated on each of those issues individually. So whichever one you want to give the most money to. So the money is split up 600000 which is your second paragraph, 300000 which is your third paragraph. And then you're going to give 100000 to equal out a million um, in the fourth paragraph. So each of these body paragraphs are set up exactly the same. So <clears throat> in paragraph two, you're going to say, you know, I have decided that blank will receive $600,000 of my money. So whatever issue that you choose, so let's just say that you choose uh, child labor. So the issue of child labor will receive $600,000 of my money. This problem needs the most money because, so why, why does child labor need the most money uh, towards that particular issue? Like why, what's your thoughts on uh, why you're giving that issue uh, so much money? And then you're going to provide two pieces of evidence from the documents that we looked at to support uh, that claim. So here it says, for exam example, in document, let's say uh, document B, just for example, it says, and you're going to pull a quote out about the... Um, that particular issue, and that's why you have your quotation mark here. So you're going to pull a quote out. 
and then you're going to analyze. So this goes back to um, the meal paragraph or meal. So you've got your main idea, you've got your evidence, now you're going to analyze it. So then it's going to come down and also in document blank, the author writes, you know, you're going to pull something else out directly from uh, the document. And then you're going to analyze it saying that this means, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to link it. So the L in mill, you're going to go back and you're going to link it and say that child labor or whatever issue you, you choose deserves the largest gift of 600,000 because and it's going to link back to something that you said up here about why it deserves that just linking it back and paragraph three is going to do the exact same thing except again it's three hundred thousand so you pick a different issue you're going to say why i'm giving money to this issue then two pieces of evidence from the document or documents and then you're going to analyze them both and then you're going to link it back just like you have and then paragraph four is going to do the same thing except now you're giving a hundred thousand dollars so you're saying this problem needs the least amount of money because so it needs the least amount of money because you feel like it's it's still a, an, an, an issue of concern but it's not as big of an issue um, and then you're going to include some information to from each document you're going to analyze it and then link it and then after we have done that you've got your conclusion <clears throat> in your conclusion you're just going to fill in the blanks so in conclusion blank received the largest amount of money so what what did you give the largest amount to blank received the second amount and blank received the third amount so you're just repeating information here uh reiterating the fact of what you are going to uh contribute to um and then it says i would spend my million dollars in this way because and you're just kind of you know reiterating the fact why you gave so much money to one to the other and to the other and then it says, I hope in the future that the problem of blank will disappear and we can all move forward. We can all um, <clears throat> work together and um, gain equality for women um, or um, uh, help children uh, not to have to work so much, help them get an education. Uh, whatever your thoughts are, uh, you're going to wrap that up here. So again, this is very guided and very intentional for you to be pulling information out and for you to understand how essays are going to going to work. Um, those of you that are in class, we're going to be concentrating on this um, on Friday. Uh, so this is something that will not be due until the 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 next Friday, um, and we will be working on typing these up uh, at the beginning of the next week. So. <clears throat> Again, this is very guided. Um, if you are virtual and you have questions about it, please reach out and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.